Sa mga mahihilig sa bilyar, local man or international, wala na sigurong hindi nakakakilala sa ipinagmamalaki ng bansang Pilipinas ang binansagang The Magician or sa iba mas kilala sa bansag na Efren Bata Reyes sa isa sa kanyang mga tour habang may iniinom na hilingan pa itong tumira dahil nga Game of Pinoy pinagbigyan sa itsura ng mga nanonood parang may kunting duda pero nang tumira na laking gulat nang pumasok ang nakatagong bola sa nangyari tila ginawa ng souvenir ng isang prayer ang tako na ginamit ni Efren hinangaan din si Bata Reyes sa 2005 IPT King of the Hill 8 Ball Championship na kung saan kalaban niya ang one of the greatest billiard player ng Amerika world champion din and considered one of the living legend na si Mike Siegel the 10 time world champion presenting the reigning IPT 8 Ball Champion of the World Mike the Mouth sa mga unang rock tila na underestimate ni Sigel ang Pinoy panay daldal pero noong magsimula na si Efren ipinakita ang husay at natahimik na itong si Sigel naging unstoppable si Bata Reyes kahit itong matinding nipis para ihulog sa corner pocket na pasigaw ang mga nanonood But Mike But Siegel should be able to run these balls. There's no question. You would think. <laughs> Eight in the corner. Okay, now, now this is this is magician. He doesn't have it. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. The pool gods. Unbelievable. Harry Houdini has taken notice from another world because this magician has quite an act tonight. Unbelievable. Mas naging matunog ang palakpakan ng sa huling tira ni Efren dahil ang naghihintay na premyo tumataging ting na 200,000 US dollars. A new king of the hill. Reyes. Wow. How excited is he right now? Well, he must be absolutely. There's Renee Siegel, very disappointed, obviously. Of the sport, over a million dollars was given away in this tournament with the 43 best pool players from all over the world, and Efren Reyes comes away the champion. Tila na bad trip at naginit si Mike Siegel at naghamon na kagad. He played great. I do want a rematch now. That I definitely want. But no, he played great. I mean, naging humble naman si Efren at nagbiro pa. Well, uh, this is uh, too much money for me, no? <laughs> <laughs> Pero mayroon isa pang laban si Efren na tila yumanig sa American Billiard taong 1995 sa The Sand Regency Final na kung saan kalaban ni Efren ang isa pang sikat na American pool player na si Earl Strickland. Race to 13, lamang si Efren, 12, si Strickland, 9, pero ang sumunod na rock, ang gumising at nagpahanga sa mga nanonood at sa kalaban ni Efren. Sa tira ni Strickland sa uno, isa lang ang intensyon, itago ang cue ball para pahirapan si Efren. Pero ang ginawa niya na yun, ang lalong nagpatanyag sa binansagang The Magician nang billiard And, and, and when you're hitting down on the cue ball off a rail like that, the ball can swerve if you hit it a little bit bad. He's going to hit it so where the cue ball will then go maybe into the nine or possibly a quarter of the way back up table. 
Yeah, but look at what happens. Oh, well, you that see? was the problem. He, He's didn't, not he didn't have the feel at that moment to, to go ahead and slow roll it, so he opted to go ahead and cinch it. That's what you're supposed to do, though. By cinching it, he you now has another table. problem to deal with later on, but I guess it's a, it's a fair trade-off considering you want to stay in control of the table. And we're getting what we wanted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's he's uh, not going to shoot this ball. Unless he can make the four ball, he's not going to shoot it. He's just going to draw, and he's going to oh, shoot this ball. Here's one of them spin shots again, the bing shots. The bing. Ooh. Does he hit these shots good? Perfectly hit. That's like Wimpy used to play. Remember Wimpy? Luther last year. Do I remember Wimpy? Who yeah. could forget Wimpy? Well, if the people haven't seen him play before, I mean, that's the way Luther used to play all the time. Spinning the ball and pinching. Okay, does he have the angle to draw off of the nine? Yes, he does. The, yes, he does. the way for the five? The nine's just going to come out of there. Maybe he'll go into the six or not. doesn't matter. All he has to do is just draw this ball, and it's going to bump off the six. Just make sure you don't draw too strong. Just nip the top side of the nine. You want to make sure you go into the nine here. Just draw it straight back just a little bit. Just a little bit, I said. What? He didn't have to do that. You see what I'm talking about? Mm, that's right. Now, uh, why did he do that? Because he wanted to make it even more thrilling. No, but if he just pinched that ball a little bit, it would have stopped right there. Just the nine would have came over the same way, and he would have been right well, there. Well, he figured the, the nine was going to go into the six, and he was going to move the six. Well, he might have figured that, yeah. He must have figured that, otherwise, why would he shoot it like sure. that? Sure, see, now he even pointed like he was supposed to move the six. With his finger, he could have moved it, but the nine, he didn't. Well, he's got, he's got, he can see pretty much of a full ball with his five ball. So, he, I mean, he's going to set it up table, and this whole, this whole game depends if he can get it behind the six ball. And there's a possibility he may even be able to bank this five up table. You know? Maybe. That yeah, shot's maybe. available, and then he can use the six as an interfering ball. If he pockets the oh, bank, I, if he pockets the bank, he'll have the six to shoot. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, watch the eight. Watch the eight. Oh, my goodness. Strickland said, oh, okay, you can have goodness. that ball. Oh, boy. Now, the position Strickland should have been in, Reyes is in that position. And, uh, he's in a worse position, Billy. He can't even go to the left-hand cushion because there's no access to the five well, on this the side. Seven, the seven is the interfering ball. Yeah, he goes to the left. He precludes him from kicking in that fashion. He can't go to the right because there's no cushion there. He's in big trouble. He's in big trouble here. The short cushion is the only cushion he, has, he can go to. Oh, what a bad oh, roll, oh, huh? Oh, Jeepers. horrible roll. Horrible roll. Horrible. He's gonna, he, he might be able to go back and forth here. I mean, that's what he's looking at. I don't like that because you're going to leave a shot. Yeah, you're not going to get movement from the five ball here right. if you're able to contact it. And it looks like the, the short cushion is the only cushion he can go to. Behind the six. You, you know, he kicks balls. You know, he could nip the five. In other words, going to the left-hand cushion, just missing the seven ball, nipping the five, and coming three cushions back down the table. I think he's going twice. I don't twice like this shot because you're gonna, you, you don't get no movement, like you said. You, and you might miss this ball. Oh, 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 they're gonna play this in Manila. You're gonna sell this tape to Manila, I know that. Jeepers. Well that's why they call him the magician. There you have it. But he's not out yet though. I've seen funny things happen. And he's following a little short yeah, of the mark. Now, short. He, now he has to go two oh, cushions. Jeep. Or draw it one cushion. I think, I don't know. He's got a, he's got a funny angle. He's, he's got to force it and make sure he doesn't force it into the corner pocket. He's got a funny it. angle. Oh, the suspense is still there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is the rack that we wanted to see. We got everything we wanted. And he's more. He's drawing one cushion. And more. Right selection here. I think this is perfect. He's That's there. it. He's home. He's home. What a finish. What a finish, What huh? a finish. Yeah, you couldn't get no better oh, than that. No wonder you asked me to do oh, this. What a finish. Uh, and, and I really had to <laughs> commend Earl for his sportsmanship there. I mean, yeah. he really was happy for, for Reyes in the regard that he made a ter terrific shot to steal the match away from him. Just incredible. What a performance. Well, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, I've played this game 30 years. I've never seen a kick like that. Napasakamay nga ni Efren ang kampiyonato at ang tira na magpapaulit-ulit sa mga isipan ng mga nakapanood ng laban at hindi malilimutan ang Pinoy pool player 
na si Efren Bata Reyes. Marami na kami pinagdaanan mga laban at siya'y talagang walang katapat. Nakasangga. At wala ka nang mahanapin pang iba. Mga kababayan, atin pong papugayan si Efren the Magician Reyes. Yan ang istorya na gusto kong ishare sa inyo ngayong araw. Abangan sa mga susunod ang ilan pang istorya na talaga namang kapupulutan ng aral o di kaya makadagdag sa kaalaman ng mga interesadong matuto. Kung nagustuhan niyo ang video, pakiclick ang subscribe button at pakiclick na rin ang notification bell. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood.